You know, I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, it's good to be right. It's good to be right. Um, of course, we've been talking about this ongoing saga that is Eric July and the Ripaverse. And one of the central focuses of this ongoing drama has been the legal battle with the International School of Ministry, the original ISOM. Because the International School of Ministry, of course, had copyright to the acronym, the phrase of ISOM long before Eric July ever came along and decided to adopt the name for his character. Regardless of if it was named after his great-great-grandfather or not, legally in the world of business, that does not matter. The International School of Ministry, aka ISOM, had the copyright for ISOM going back years and years and years before Eric July ever started to supposedly write his comic. And today we have Vindication. This week it did come out. It was revealed via the Ripperverse website itself that we were right, ladies and gentlemen. We were right. Now, Eric July did the smart thing. To be fair, he did settle with the International School of Ministry. That was a smart thing to do. He should have go. He should have gone ahead before this even went into the legal process. He should have tried to work something out with them beforehand. But instead, he got online and was calling them so-called Christians, aka fake Christians, doubting their faith, being a total jackass about it. And we called him out on it. We called him out on it. But today, Jesus has won and ISOM has lost. And I'm not talking about the International School of Ministry. I'm talking about the dollar store generic character that is Eric July's ISOM. Jesus has won the day, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a true Christian, you are very happy about this. Absolutely. So let's look here at the Ripaverse website. You see it right there at the very bottom, man. The very bottom of the website, right next to uh, my avatar on screen. It says at the very bottom of the Ripaverse website. And look, this is the Ripaverse website. This is the official website. All right. This is coming from Eric July himself. God, that artwork is freaking terrible. But it's right there, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to highlight it for you right there. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. The character Isom is not affiliated with Good Shepherd Ministries International. Uh, with Good Shepherd, <clears throat> start over. The character Isom is not affiliated with Good Shepherd Ministries International or the International School of Ministry, aka the original Isom. It's right there for you. It's highlighted. There it is. Um, Eric July. Hashtag. We settle, all right? He said, hashtag we fight like hell. No, 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 hashtag we settle. Jesus has won the day. Right there it is, ladies and gentlemen, for you right there on his website. There's no denying it at this point. We were right. He would have to give some kind of credit to the International School of Ministry. We were right. Expect, this is already on the website. Expect to see this same disclaimer on all of his comic books going forward. I guarantee you, Going forward, Yaira, Gooding, Norfrica, Isom 3, Alpha Core 2. You're going to see this disclaimer somewhere on his comic book, either inside somewhere in little tiny letters or on the back somewhere, little tiny letters. You're going to see the same disclaimer. Now, the next question, the next step in all of this is the money issue. Is Eric going to have to pay back legal damages to the International School of Ministry to Good Shepherd Ministries. I suspect that he will. How much? We don't know. That hasn't been released yet. But, but it should be noted that Good Shepherd's finances are made public. They are made public. So we will be able to find out at some point. Now, it is very likely that Eric July is not going to pay these legal damages to the International School of Ministry. He's not going to pay them. Uh, via a recognizable name that would tie it back to him. So when you look at the documents, when you look at the financials, it's probably not going to say Eric July or Ripaverse. It's probably not going to say that on there because that would be too obvious. And I don't think he wants to willingly give any of the people that have been calling him out on his bullshit any kind of cannon fodder, any kind of fuel in order to keep the fire going. But he'll probably use some kind of third party in order to transfer the money. However, come on, man. We got people everywhere. We got people looking into this. People are going to be able to trace it back to Eric somehow, some way. I guarantee you how long that's going to take. We don't know, but we're going to find out. 
we will find out, ladies and gentlemen. So that's going to be the next step in all of this. But we were right. We were right. Eric was being a, a dick. He was being an ass. He took on God, and God won. All right? Eric July is having to bow before the Son of God today, this week. All right? And it is a beautiful thing to watch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for all of your pop culture update, including YouTube drama, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to support the channel financially, hey, I've got some information at the bottom of the screen for you right below this little disclaimer. You can help the, support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or by donating via PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, etc. That information is down at the bottom of your screen. If you cannot support the channel financially, that's all right. Subscribe, click the, bu uh, the bell for notifications, and of course, share the content so that other people can subscribe as well. As always, thank you for your support. Unlike Eric July, I do appreciate my subscribers, my fans. It is very much appreciated. And I will not, like Eric July, I will not call you gay. And that's not gay, G-A-Y. That is gay, G-H-E-Y. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Jessica James, and I'll see you guys for the inevitable next update in the Eric July saga. Um, until then, peace out.